Well, gentlemen, uh, this is my brand new addition to the fleet, the export only HD T1000. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a quick start, let it idle a dab, uh, shut it down, and then uh, I'll do the rest of the walk around. So just bear with me for a second here. Okay, there we go. She's got a little bit of a bark to her with uh, that straight pipe. I'll be taking care of that shortly. We'll put a muffler on it. It's not in the greatest of shape, but uh, everything is straight and runs good. Needs, uh, needs a little work. As we can see here, the dash tower is a mess. Uh, I'm going to have to find a new dash and replace that. Interesting thing is, uh, as you'll see, this one has a tachometer with it. Uh, it's not working. It says the cable is broke, so I'll have to have a new tack cable made. Here's the rest of the dash. Uh, as you can see, everything's in four languages since it was meant to be sold overseas. Uh, that little critter right down there is the... Uh, indicator for the glow plugs so cold start is not a problem and turn him over to the gold glow plugs and off we go down here is part of the cruise control system and here's a side view of the tractor a little bit different decals than a lot of them uh, interesting piece here if you'll notice you'll see there's a little extension on the front of this uh, Bolins had to do that because the engine was longer than the uh, Kohler and the Ducati diesel. So they extended that so the hood's a little bit longer than uh, the standard HT23. Now of course it's, uh, it has a dual spool hydraulics and interesting for Bolins, they actually put uh, the model number on the uh, front of the hood as opposed on as opposed to the sides. Uh, we are missing the PTO shaft and sheaves. That should be replaced as standard HT23 should fit that. Walk around a little bit. There's our power steering portion. Uh, previous owner did add a uh, heater for the water system so that'll even help a little more for cold weather starting uh, there we have our air filter uh, probably you need a little bit different gas cap the little top of it off of it so I don't want water in there or up to the side of it and everything else is if you look is pretty much standard HT 23 fare Tires, yeah, they're eggs, but they are not great. So we're going to have to replace those. I'll probably put some uh, same tires I put on my 1886, uh, the CST Ankle ATV tires. Other than that, then let's go ahead and open the hood. And we'll take a look at what's under there. 
Okay, here we have the Mitsubishi. It's a K3D-61FG, I believe, is the nomenclature. Uh, it's got a nice, strong sound to it. I haven't had a chance to run it much. But, of course, there's our radiator. Now, this... I moved the battery up front. Now, this doesn't have the great big fuel tank like the uh, HT20D and the HT23, but these diesels don't take that much fuel. Actually, if you can might be able to see the fuel tank sits right below the battery there. There it goes, goes across the, the front. Now let's sneak up. Hope you don't get vertigo here. Run over here on the other side. This is the rest of the engine bay. Looks like a standard Wix filter there. I'm not sure what it's going to take for a fuel filter, which I have, which is supposed to be under this little gray box. But I will find out what's going on on that, you can bet. Well, gentlemen, that pretty much concludes it. Uh, thanks for stopping in and taking a view. But uh, there we have it. The extremely rare HDT-1000. Thank you, gents.